All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a basic stuff on Emacs, which is called Dart, D-I-R-E-T, -E which is nothing but a buffer, which can be used to file enlisting and file and directory manipulation. That is the whole and sole purpose of it. Uh, Emacs comes with the Dart rebuilt with it but i have also installed something called a package called dart plus which will provide much more enhanced capability of uh, manipulating files and all these things okay so i have installed i'll try to provide you the basic stuff show you the basic stuff rest of the thing you you might need to explore it yourself okay so without further ado and if i get into a specific directory say this is a directory i'm inside right now uh, this is a this is a directory which enlist bunch of files so for instance if i wanted to see any specific file to see the help all you have to do press question mark look at the bottom of the screen it is giving you the option d for delete u for until it x for purge f for find o for other window r for rename c for copy and help so if i the first thing i'll try to show you uh, let me show you let me open this particular if a particular file in another buffer just press O see that specific buffer where my cursor was sitting I just press O so it open up in another buffer super handy right okay now so for instance I want to copy this specific file to some other directory I just press shift C which is a capital C and if I select the directory okay so and specific directory and I press enter that specific file bnfmt underscore elf dot C gets copied to that directory let me open that directory so it will be easier for you see this file has been copied to this directory right wonderful now say for instance I want to rename this uh, file all I have to do press shift R that means capital R and if I give it a name bin FMT rename i'm writing the name for you to easily pick it up okay say dot c see look at the first file i just renamed it my cursor was here and i press shift r that means capital r it will prompt me to provide the file name i wrote that particular file name and press enter so it gets changed right now if i wanted to delete this file okay so all i have to do press d see this file is marked as deletion but it not yet deleted right to purge it or to delete it prop or if you want to undelete it place the cursor there and just press u see it brings back to normal so for instance again i'm going putting the cursor on a specific file and press D see there is a D signifies just beside the file name all you have to do to purge it permanently just press X look at the bottom of the screen it is asking me whether I want to delete it or not so if I say yes it's done it's gone okay so it's super darn easy so likewise 
so if you if you type third see there are 1204 412 options are there okay to to get get all these things done I'm certainly not going to show you all the 1200 I have given you the glimpse of basic to how to operate on it you have to find it out like this what you I'm sure nobody needs 412 option only few handful of options require for day-to-day -day dirt operation but having said that other option which are not used every day those are mostly very special cases special case option which might seldom require okay so you pick up what exactly you need is for frequent operation okay I do I'm not delving with 412 option I just pick a few quick stuff which will give me gets going it's my way of dealing with it your might be different okay so this is one way another way wherever you are inside Emacs you can always get a context sensitive help that means I'm in a dirt buffer right or if I on a music buffer or if I on a some other buffer where my source the pay cons context sensitive help means where you are on the buffer the subject you are on you will get a help related to that specific subject here I'm on a dirt and if I do control H M see it 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 open up a buffer okay and it provide me all the option about dirt so if you if you forget something you have two ways I shown you you can MX and then dirt to find out with vertical all the stuff or you do control HM to get a context sensitive help about the stuff you are doing on the buffer in this case dirt so it will enlist you all the option and keyword related to dirt what which you can grab and manipulate okay this is super helpful Emacs documentation is bloody good although sometimes I found some places they are overboard but probably that was some other reason they might have done that so anyway in general it's damn good if you if you keep harping on it you'll come to know about a lot of stuff with much ease and these things is very good it will give you the focus only the context related where you are in if I am on a music buffer I'll provide the EMMS related stuff it will pop up like that here I am in dart I'm, I'm getting all the listing about dart related stuff and dart plus as I told you I have installed so all amalgamated and show me all the option okay so this is a super handy way and dirt is a very basic thing on Emacs you are bound to encounter you're bound to use because this is such a kind of interface which will Apple allow you to get going in a much smoother way everyone everyone does the file file related stuff and directory related stuff right those are the basic structure dart is for that it will give you a lot enhanced stuff it will give you a visual representation so it will become much easier okay simple so you see these are uh, this file has been marked so how do you mark it just place your cursor on a specific file and press M see it is unmarked it is marked right 
place the cursor on your specific file and just press M. It will mark the file and highlight it, whatever you say. If you unmark, just press U. If you go here and press U, it will unmark simply. The advantage of marking is that you can you can operate on mark file. If you mark to file here, and if you say I want to copy, see, look at the bottom, it says copy to file. So it take an account of the mark item, right? Which is super useful, okay? So I just touched the tip of an iceberg so I expect you to explore yourself more. This is a kind of very important stuff, but very easy to explore. I hope this will give you some sort of heads up to look into it. Thanks for watching.